Hello and welcome back to Adventure All The Way. I'm Emma and I'm a homeschooling mum of three in the UK. And today is day six of our not back to school week. Whew. I am overwhelmed by the support I have had since I began this journey, let alone this week. And I'm just really glad that you're all here. Thank you to all the new subscribers and to all the old ones. Um, let's get started. Today is my home ed must-haves. Obviously these must-haves, before, before I get into that, my, these must-haves are the things that I feel are really important for me and my family. I'm not saying to you to go out and get them. So, number one is a Twinkle subscription. And I know I've talked about Twinkle a lot, and I have showed you Twinkle a lot, and I talk about Twinkle a lot, but I really, really like Twinkle. Um, I just think that if you do want a specific... Uh, bleh, bleh, if you do want a specific topic um, to be national curriculum aligned or just thorough and just decent and to be a bit lazy in the sense that you kind of be like, you know what, I don't want to have to do this all the time. I don't want to have to do all the hard work and piecing all the things together because I mean, it's not lazy at all. I don't know why I said lazy, but sometimes you've just got to cut yourself a break and Twinkle is perfect for doing that. Like as home educating parents, we don't have opportunities for breaks very often and Twinkle really, really gives you that. It's like you've got this big cuddly support network that go, here we go, here's a project on volcanoes. And you're like, oh, thank God for that. <laughs> so I would really, really recommend Twinkle subscription. This is not affiliated with, with Twinkle in any way. I'm not being paid for it. I just love Twinkle so much. Um, and I would really recommend that you join the Home Educators group and that you check them out. Um, I have their full subscription with all the bells and whistles and the book club and I absolutely love it. The kids love getting the books. They're a little bit young um, for Charles but he loves reading them to Albert and Bessie so it all works out. We love Twinkle. Did I mention I love Twinkle? My second must have is HP Instant Ink. Again, not affiliated with them in any way, but I love HP Instant Ink. We have had their full subscription as well as their le lesser subscription and I wouldn't be without it now. Like the amount of fuss that I would be like, oh my God, I've got all this home ed stuff to print off and I've run out of ink cartridges. Now I've got to go down to Tesco. I've got to remember the numbers of the cartridges. I've got to buy them. And they were way, always way more expensive than I wanted to pay. And quite often we would just be without a printer and I would have to print it somewhere else. And ugh. And HP Instant Ink, it's just, I don't even notice it going out of the bank account. We have the 7 dollars one, which I think is like 500 pages, maybe it's 300 pages, something like that. Um, it just goes out of the bank account once a month, and that's it. And they just send us cartridges when we need it. We had some arrive the other day. You know? And that is three coloured cartridges, magenta, yellow and cyan. And that's it. They're in. They're done. We're sorted, you know? Um, and I quite often have months where I don't print anything out, like this time of the year I'll print out loads, but they roll over, like it rolls on if you have stuff left over from other months, so I have not had to pay anything this month extra, even though I've printed out loads of stuff. Uh, the only thing I have to keep remembering to buy is paper, and I swear, they should have a subscription service for that too. So my third must have is a good and varied supply of arts and crafts stuff. Now this is not something that I have a problem with as anyone who knows me in real life and has been to my house can attest. Um, everyone who knows me, when they're clearing out stuff, they're like, do you want this arts and crafts stuff? I'm like, yeah. Emma, do you want this arts and crafts stuff? I'm like, yeah. I don't, I never say no. I never say no. So if you want to send me arts and crafts stuff, that's good. I'm up for it. Go for it. <laughs> um, I like the fact that we have this big downstairs room that I'm turning into a homeschool room for the children. Um, so it's going to be like a second lounge slash playroom and um, they have their arts and crafts stuff down there. They have glue, they have scissors, they have like print stick scissors, they have paints, finger paints, watercolors, blah, 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 blah. Um, you know, stickers, sequins, whatever. And they are allowed to use that space and do with that space what they will. Um, so if they want to, it's the, also the only place that they're actually allowed plasticine, then, you know, not actually supposed to have it up here. And now it's all covered in dog hair, which is gross. So, you know, they, they have that space, as we talked about in my um, eclectic video, like having that space that is theirs, that they can do what they like in, without me going, oh my god, it's such a mess, at them. <laughs> and yeah, so lots of arts and crafts supplies that they can access freely. That's a must have for me. Uh, number four is lots of cheap stationery. 
that's really important because I have, so right now I have this pen, this lovely Bic, love Bic again, multicolored pen. I love these pens, they're so nice to write with. I have some real sensory issues. So using a pen that is scratchy just makes me be like Bleh. So this writes so smoothly, it's like I'm writing with a cloud and that to me is a big must for me to have. It's a really special pen that I love. But I lend this pen to my children and I lend my pencils and my crayons and, and everything else to my children and they never give it back. They're really bad at that. That's a flaw they have. And <laughs> so I just have to have lots of cheap stationery. So when they're like, I've lost my pencil, I'm like, ta-da, and I have another pencil. Poundland. Also, Poundland, for example, has loads of notebooks and gosh, it just goes on forever, doesn't it? Like, yeah, their stationery section is a good section. Um, my number five, it's not a thing, it's a who. A support network of like-minded parents. Yeah, that's a big one. I really struggled with toddler groups and stuff because I was already, you know, the crunchy mama who cloth, cloth, cloth diapered. I'm not American, why did I say that? Cloth nappied, real nappied, fluffy bummed, whatever you want to call it, and breastfed for a really long time compared to other people, and did baby led weaning when it was just starting to be cool. Um, rather than like it being reasonably normal. And I co-slept, I bed shared, carried him in a sling all the time, didn't use a pram, never did the naughty step and all of this kind of stuff. I was already seen as a weirdo. And then I went to toddler groups with my child who, in this case Charles, couldn't be more than a metre away from me <laughs> because, you know, we didn't know then what we do now and that he's autistic because he was socially anxious. Yeah, I didn't do toddler groups until I found this amazing toddler group that's not on anymore. They don't do it. It's really sad. There was a forest school toddler group where we were outside all the time and we just played with sticks and dinosaurs in the mud and all of this kind of stuff. And I met this amazing friend. Her name's Louise. Hi, Louise. Um, and her children ended up like when she when you know we had we had our, our, our eldest children were very similar aged and then our second children were very similar aged and they're all best friends and she introduced me to like a bigger home educating circle like oh look at all these other people they're actually going to be home educating in your town let alone in your local area and that was amazing and I can't thank her enough because she really showed me what a supportive and really supportive like I may not agree with all your choices but I've got your back and I'm here for you kind of friend was and I didn't really have any at that point and then suddenly she through her I met loads and loads of other people that were like that as well, like yeah okay well I don't agree with your decision but I'm here and I've got your back and then through that I met someone else who introduced me to a whole other group of people who aren't home educating, who are also that kind of people um, and yeah that one friend, lovely Louise, opened up this massive world for me of people that I just adore and I just couldn't be without them in my life now. Um, and they really, when I'm having a wobble for some reason, which we all have wobbles, as I said the other day, we all have wobbles where we go, am I capable of doing this? They're the ones who pick me up, they're the ones like, yeah, I had a wobble the other day, well, let's do something about it, or yeah, I had a wobble, you're silly, you don't need to be having a wobble, and so on. Support network is really important. Number six, a diary to document learning. Guess where I got mine from? You guessed it. Poundland. It's pink, it's pretty, it's page a day, and I just write, Charles did this, Bessie did this, and then sometimes I include Albert, but really I don't need to. I find that really, really important. It also, um, if we've had a few days off and we've kind of got out of the habit, um, it kind of, I will look through it and I'll be like, oh my gosh, we haven't done anything in a couple of days, and it kind of jolts me back into getting it, and then I also plan stuff out, like, are oh, we going to do this project this week, and then we're moving on to that one, and oh, we've got this trip here, and stuff like that, and it just helps me to have a very specific diary that's just for home ed stuff, and I really, I really like that. Number seven is a laminator. <laughs> this is my must-have, and it's actually kept out all the time, I don't put it away. Um, it's always in a reachable, grabbable place with my laminating pockets, uh, which again, you can get from Poundland. <laughs> so, oh, I should do a Poundland video. Maybe I could just sing a song about how much I love Poundland. I love you Poundland, I do, or something. Anyway, I can't sing. But <laughs> um, And the other thing to go with a laminator is a binder, um, giant hole punch binder type thing, or just folders, A4, A5, you know, anything, just so stuff is kept together and then I can put it in a certain place so it's not like, oh look, I'm being surrounded by a sea of paper, uh, because that happens. That used to happen a lot. 
Uh, number eight, a huge bookcase. Huge bookcase. This is <laughs> this. Is, I actually bought this from an estate sale, and um, and it was just like. All of our stuff just fit in it, and I actually need to bring more books down to go in it. But at the same time, I'm like, oh, it's more, but it's room for more books. And I can hear Phil now, if he even watched my videos, which he doesn't. Rude. Um, going, no, we don't need more books. We don't need more books. We definitely don't need more books. And I'm going, yeah, 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 yeah. Number nine, and this is a huge one, huge, huge one. Waterproofs. Oh my lady, you need waterproofs in this family because we go off romping and stomping all over the places you saw on our nature study the other day. We got soaked. We got soaked in that. The heather was really wet and everyone got wet legs. And I think Phil got bitten by mosquitoes. Like it was bonkers. If we'd been wearing waterproofs, none of us would have got wet and none of us would have been bitten. And I say none of us, he was the only one who got bitten because he was wearing shorts like a numpty. So, waterproofs. Lidl, around the middle of September, do amazing waterproofs for kids. They're always in really cute patterns. I buy two sets for each kid. Occasionally they do wellies as well, and they're not that great because they're like double-sized. They're like, oh, um, size 11 to 13, and I'm like, that is a big gap. So I don't like their wellies, but I do like Sports Direct online wellies. Um, wellies? <laughs> wellies. They're like four quid each. They're good. Um, but yeah, waterproofs is a really, really, really big thing. And waterproofs for you as the adult as well, especially if you're an outdoorsy family like ourselves. Um, I've got just waterproof trousers, plain waterproof trousers. Um, for, I think they're from like from Mountain Warehouse or the Great Outdoors or something. I don't know what they're called. But they've got these holes in so I can reach my pockets of my trousers, which is really useful. I ride in them. I do the horses in them. I go for walks in them. I dog walk in them. Like sometimes I just wear them to the car when it's raining. Like... And they're really easy to get off as well, so I can wear them to the car, take them off. Um, and I have this amazingly really, really long coat. Again, both of mine are from Amazon. Um, and finally, water bottles and lunch boxes. Now, this is a recent must-have for me, because until then, I've been the parent that goes, darn it, I didn't bring a water bottle for you. <laughs> darn it, I didn't bring any snacks. Oh no, I have to go to Tesco and buy a meal deal kind of person. And I want to stop being that person. So I got a lunchbox and I got water bottles for everyone the other day, as you saw. Um, so we can take snacks, even if it's just breadsticks and carrots and hummus, because then we have food with us and it's food that everyone likes and there's going to be water and so on and so forth. So sturdy water bottles and lunchboxes. So if they get lobbed somewhere, it's all fine. So that is my top 10 home ed must-haves now i would love to hear what your must-haves are please let me know comment and tell me what your must-haves are what do you think yours are going to be if you're a new home educator are you going to have something like walkie talkies or a sou'wester hat or something really random i want to know so leave me in the comments and i'm really excited i'm also really exhausted because this has been a really really challenging week to get all of this content out for you but I've had a lot of fun and I feel like it's prepping me for vlogmas because I am going to attempt vlogmas <laughs> and I feel like I'm an idiot for doing that but it's fine so join me tomorrow for the last day of this week ah and when we will be talking about my curriculum choices for the children for the year 2020 2021 I will be showing you everything every single resource we will be flicking through them we will be having a good look at them we'll be talking about the prices where you can buy them everything it's probably going to be a long video it's going to have all the things in to end this week with a bang so thanks so much for watching please don't forget to subscribe subscribe remember i do this every time you do thanks so much for watching i will see you tomorrow bye